so now we need a query handler to uh, to handle those query so i am creating the new package for it okay and i am just putting the employee query handler Okay, so I created the class. So I am annotating it with at the right component. Okay, so here, uh, so what I'm trying to do, I'm just first handling this query, uh, uh, that get employee uh, query, and then I will handle this get employee by ID query. Okay, okay, so. I'm just writing one method uh, sorry so I'm just writing one method get employees and yeah put the query there okay so it will return the public list of employee get all employee okay and what input it will take it will take get all employee query the class which we created in previous video right so this is how it will find it so to communicate with the database we need a repository so i'm going to add our private uh, employee repository okay so uh, i put the repository and i am just using employee repository dot find all and yeah it will it will return the list of employee okay i just need to import this okay so this is how we uh, handle this query so to handle this query we need to use the annotation called query handler okay so let me create another uh, uh, yeah let me handle another query which is created which is nothing but get query by id okay so again i am returning uh, writing the query public employee get employee okay so this is the query i am passing okay so i i just need a, a return it is just a simple spring boot only sorry my bad i forgot to write the return return employee repository dot find by id where i need to pass the uid so we have this query dot get id right okay or else or uh, okay or else it will throw the exception new runtime exception oh my bad oh. so inside that i'm just not found okay and done so again i need a same annotation here so this is how we are going to handle any query so in next video we will test uh, both the queries thanks for watching